Today we're in Mui Ne, Vietnam, and we're staying at the Irini Guest House. Very different from my usual reviews, but this place definitely deserves one too. $23 a night. Let's see if you would stay here too. This time we were in Mui Ne for an extended weekend with Yang's family. And we have been looking for a cheap place to stay and found this little gem on booking.com. As soon as you come in, you can see there's lots of flowers and plants and it looks really nice. Now the surrounding areas you saw earlier was perhaps not as attractive, but inside this was a really different story. There was a pool table, a little bar, there were lots of decorations around, everything was white and blue. I guess in the Santorini style as is quite popular these days but in general there were lots of nooks and crannies and different parts to this building it was really cool here you can see the kitchen I'm not quite sure if this was a communal kitchen or only for them but uh, you could put your drinks and food in the fridge at least I'm sure you can cook too if you want to leading out from that you have the first like lookout point here amazing look at that you can just see the ocean this is the fisherman's harbor i believe it's called in muine and you can see all the boats there and if you walk down the stairs you can go straight to the beach and to the pool now the gate to the beach was locked but uh, the beach is not very nice here anyway but we went to check out the rooms and uh, i got a chance to look at loads of rooms so this is the room that we had 203 but i think we got to see about five different rooms so let me show you all of them now here was our room this is just a simple double room near the beach very comfortable and yeah the ac was strong enough and for 23 dollars i mean what can you say right some slippers a little place to hang your clothes colorful air conditioner bed even a little sofa the bathroom was basic but quite large and had hot water that was most important of course what was a bit strange was the fact that there was just like a gap in the wall here where like mosquitoes could come in at night so we made sure that door was closed this is another room the 206 i believe and here you can see a totally different layout that's the thing about this hotel it's that each room is completely different so i'm hoping this can be a bit useful for you to see what different types of rooms there are here you can see how the bathroom is a little bit sunken in this room it's really crazy it's like a catacomb of some kind or you know a maze almost now let's continue with the rooms here's another room that's near the beach and the pool this one had a strange issue with the key when you put the key in the lights went on but they went off suddenly after 15 minutes but it was good to have a look around inside i would say this is also not too bad this room and especially you've got a little window there I believe all the rooms here have windows, but I would just check that to be sure. Here we're going up the stairs, and we've got the room 210, which is the family room with a sea view. Although there's a tree in the way, so I'm not sure how that's a sea view. But I mean, the room is gigantic, and I mean, it's also 23, or well, I think $30, if I'm not mistaken. Enough space for four people in this room. As you can see, also everything blue and white. Really nice. The bathroom was a little bit small in this room compared to the size of the room but as we know this is not a uniform building. There is rooms hidden everywhere in this place, unbelievable. As the AC was not really that strong in the family room on the floor below, Yang's mum and the two boys decided to move to this room which was much better, the air conditioning was really strong here and you had an even better view out of the window. The room itself is really well split up, I think. It's quite nice. There's two beds. You've got one little section in here and a little section on the outside. But in this case, the bathroom here, the door is not from the floor to the to the top, as you can see there. But, you know, if you don't mind uh, a bit of sound pollution, then you won't mind this room. And this is the little lookout area that we saw before. All those flashing lights are the lights on the fishing boats. It's a real spectacle. Can't see it too well on this video, but I promise you it's really incredible to see at night. 
Now another big bonus about this place are all the little amenities that you can get from here. From mosquito lotion, toothbrushes, hair dryers, anything. And you can just help yourself. This is a little area that we were hanging out at before going out for dinner. There's a seafood restaurant right across the road, but we wanted to have a beach view. And we just took a taxi for about 20 minutes, maybe even a bit less, 15. And we got to have some incredible fresh seafood. So prawns, squid, fish, beef, and fried rice. And noodles. And noodles, very nice. Squid, fish, noodles, prawns, beef, amazing. Food was absolutely mouth-wateringly delicious, and these were the best prawns that I've ever had in Asia. Just look at the size of this, mm, dripping with garlic. Here we are, it's morning time, time for breakfast. There was a nice selection of things that you could choose. I went for the Thai squid soup. Uh, of course, you can have also loads of European options. We have fried eggs with bread and so on. The Yang's having a meat cake, what? Fish cake. Bang Kan? Fish cake. We decided to have breakfast outside and then discovered there was an even higher terrace. Absolutely amazing. Look at this spectacular view. Beautiful, breathtaking. This is a perfect place to just chill out and just enjoy the view. Breakfast was made really quickly and we were in for a treat because look at these delicious spicy soups for breakfast. Starting with our day strong. Some spicy Thai noodle and some bangkang kuah or bangkang Jaka. Now lunch was even more luxurious. Right across the road from this place, there's a seafood market. So you can go in there, choose your crabs and fish, bring them back and have them cooked to perfection. Well-fed family is a happy family. And uh, I think this shall conclude this day at the Irini guest house. I do have to say it's been really nice. Most importantly, it's been very cheap. And uh, yeah, okay, this hotel's not completely finished as you can see there were some uh, some few uh, rooms that were still being constructed we didn't feel that we were inconvenienced by any noises and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool sunset so i would say it's definitely worth staying here if you want to be near the fishing village the beach is not the best beach that i've seen in fact back there you can get some much better beaches on some of the more expensive resorts in Fantit but uh, maybe that's what we'll go review next time but for today that's the end of the review i hope you enjoyed it think about staying here it's definitely worth it when you're only paying i don't know what is it 22 dollars a day or something like that and some of the rooms are some of the rooms are really nice some of the rooms are not as nice so you know make sure which room you're getting and when you're here they're very relaxed you can change rooms if you're not happy with the room so yeah very nice look at this beautiful if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review. See you there.